We're Trent and Allie, and today, mark my words, we will finish the exterior installation. There's a lot to consider. What'll I do if a zombie pops out and tries to kill me? <laughs> but that shouldn't stop us from finishing the insulation. It's a little crooked right around there. I did that on purpose. Oh, did you? Yeah. Perfect. It's time to get a move on. I just want to move in. I'm ready. I have things picked out. Subscribe if you're not already and come along today as we do our best to finish this project. What's up guys? Good morning and welcome back. We're just at one of those parts in the build where there's probably a couple different directions we could go. Um, as you guys probably saw in our last video, we're having trouble getting drywall and <laughs> Home Depot's got tons of drywall. So we could go to Home Depot, get drywall, bring it back and start doing that right now today. However, Brandon showed up today with the rest or half of the rest of our rock wool insulation for the exterior of the house. So it's like, do we finish the exterior insulation or do we start doing the drywall inside? Drywall. And drywall, drywall. So the, uh, something that I think Allie is overlooking is that <laughs> it's only going to get hotter for the next couple months. Mm. So the things that have to happen outside, like exterior insulation, I want to do now when it's like only 80 instead of when it's like 90 mm -hmm. or 95. So today I'm going to head outside. We're going to help Brandon get this rock wool unloaded. I'm going to find my sun hat because I'm not exactly sure where it is. And we're going to get started with some more exterior insulation. I never would have thought something as small as stairs would have such a huge impact on my quality of life. But honestly, it's incredible being able to walk all the way up here, not have to pick Lika up to jump onto the deck. And then every time she jumps off, she's not whining to get back up. She can just bring herself back up. <sighs> I'm getting to this point guys, where I just want to move in. I'm ready. I have things picked out for not the nursery, but like baby stuff to put in our room. I have furniture picked out for our bedroom. I have color schemes picked out for the tile in the bathrooms. I'm ready. I know this will take a few more months, but I'm starting to be able to visualize how things are coming together and feel some pressure to move in quickly. And Trent keeps telling me, hold your horses, slow down. It'll all happen in time. We're trying to get set up for the day and find some screws that we can't find. And Trent just sent me down into the basement to go look for them. And last night we watched the first 10 minutes of Army of the Dead, the new zombie movie. And I said, I cannot watch this. We, we have to turn this off because this is all I'm gonna think about for the next two weeks. I won't be able to sleep. And Trent was like, it's just a movie. It's fine, it's fake. And I was like, nope, can't do it, sorry. <laughs> and even after 10 minutes of watching that movie, I go down into the basement by myself and I'm like, what'll I do if a zombie pops out? and tries to kill me. I can't not think about it. Ellie never gives a chance for the hero to arrive and kill all the bad guys. So she only watches the scary part yes. and then she chickens out and yes. then she hates her life. I'm like, you gotta wait until the, the hero comes. And then when you get scared, you just think about the hero and then you're fine. And you remember that the hero kills everybody. But Sometimes the hero dies. For all of you guys saying having the baby in the basement is a bad idea. I'm a 30 year old woman and I don't want to be in the basement by myself. So I totally understand. And there will be a different solution. Don't worry. I'm going to have two babies. In the basement, they'll keep each other company. <laughs> There's a huge difference between when we were putting on the zip sheathing up here and when we were putting on the ice and water shield and now, and that huge difference is the temperature. <laughs> so when we put all this stuff on, it was really cold actually. And so this stuff was like slippery mm. and now the sun has been beating on it and it's like sticky tar paper. So like Ooh. you can kind of dig into it and get a good footing much, much nicer. And this is only a 412? 
This is only a 412. So it's nice and this shallow. It's basically flat for a roofer. <laughs> I'm, glad, to that. I'm glad we don't have to get up there. Yeah. So we've got about a third of this gable end wall done. It's actually going really fast. The hardest part is going to be the little tippy top when we have to set up a ladder on this roof and climb up there to put that together. Huh. That will be fun. But we should be done with this hopefully in like a couple hours and then we can start working on the back. We have pretty much half of the foam and half of the rock wool. The other half of the rock wool is at Brandon's house mm. and the other half of the foam is still at Home Depot. <laughs> so we just have to uh, finish all the stuff we have today and then tomorrow we'll get more foam, get more rock wool from Brandon's house and hopefully finish all of the exterior insulation by tomorrow. Wow. And we don't ever have to touch this itchy garbage ever again. <laughs> Just where it was needed Clean and black as night Cloistered in injustice Dead in the time Even though it's already June and it's like definitely super hot in the valley and full summer everywhere else just last night, our last few trees finally bloomed and have leaves. We actually thought that they were dead because they weren't flowering or blooming at all. And they were just a little bit behind. All it takes is June 1st for it to be summer up here. I mean, this year. Yeah. This is like the earliest spring ever. Yeah. I'm Probably scared. Probably usually you have to wait till the 4th of July before it's nice. Oh my gosh. Live in the mountains, they said. It'll be beautiful and wonderful, they said. And Instead, we've been dealing with all the all the elements and the snow and the thunderstorms. It is gorgeous, but uh, you have to earn that gorgeousness. Yeah, nice throw. Hey, hey. Moving right along over here. What do you say, Trent? Oh, uh, we've just got to do the hardest part now and it's super hot. We basically just have like two pieces and a scrap to do at the top. It's just, we have to do it from the ladder. It's going to be tough. really good it's a little crooked right hey. around there I did that on purpose oh did you yeah perfect wanted to give people something to comment about <laughs> there you go <laughs> that's basically the last of the the high gable ends we still have to do this pitch right here on the back of the sunroom but other than that, it's just a big rectangular section on the back of the house. We gotta button up a couple more of these corners, and then we're done. Since it is definitely summertime today, for sure, Trent picked up these uh, little frozen fruit juice popsicles. What are they? They're not popsicles. They're adult otter pops. They are adult otter pops, and they're organic, they're healthy, they're not as sweet and juicy as like the sugary fake kinds, but. They're perfectly refreshing and exactly what we need. We're gonna hang out for a few more minutes before we go and get started on the back of the house. It's just my new constant state is just exhausted and... Mm. <laughs> Wait till the baby gets here. I know. Uh, I'm really excited. <laughs>
per usual. It's an absolute disaster back here. Ah! Every time I take my glasses off, I'm like blinded. <laughs> Um, but it looks really good. You guys got the entire sunroom wall done. This stick looks kind of crooked, but... Oh, all of them look crooked, but hey, apparently crooked. that doesn't matter. <laughs> sticks don't have to be straight, okay? <laughs> so there's just no point. And these sticks are all shaped like freaking bananas anyways, so mm. there's no making them straight. But <laughs> what I do want to point out is that we finished the gable wall and we finished the rest of the sunroom, all the sticks and everything. So tomorrow we'll go to Home Depot. We'll get more foam board. I think we need more sticks as well. And we're gonna finish the back of this house. What a fun day. It was super hot. We had that country music playing again, which I know Trent and Brandon were absolutely loving. And it might not seem like they got a lot done, but honestly, working in the heat like that is just so exhausting. So I'm thrilled. We got everything done up by the scary part of the gable end roof and the rest of the back of the sunroom wall. And tomorrow, I really think we can finish everything on the house for the exterior insulation to prep for siding. I think we'll see you guys in the morning. I've heard a story, I've heard it said, I've come to believe that love is a bet. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose and sometimes it calls you right in the Good morning guys. We are just waking up bright and early, having our morning coffee and preparing to go on another trip to Home Depot. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering how we feel about leaving all of our stuff all the time for all these errands we have to run all over Utah, but we feel really safe and secure because everything is protected by Simply Safe. And Simply Safe is the sponsor of today's video. Simply Safe has been the easiest security system I have ever used in my life. Setting it up was a breeze. You basically unpack all of the sensors, all of the devices communicate with the home base, which is plugged in. Simply Safe on. You have everything that you need. Please exit now. After a couple really serious break in attempts in our van while we were traveling through South America, we've always taken our safety and our security really seriously. And that's why we went with Simply Safe. If you'd like to check out Simply Safe, click our link in the description or go to simplysafe.com slash Trentinelli. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna finish our coffee and hit the road. surprise huh today we are actually doing the last purchase of foam and insulation of any type for the rest of the house we need to get about 15 more insulation boards a couple bundles of the furring strips then we're gonna go back to the house and mark my words by the end of today we will finish the exterior insulation on this house and I could not be happier to be done with insulation you know I want you close Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. I know that we are in a super hurry today and time is of the essence and we got a lot of work to do and it's going to be hot and it's going to be a doozy but honestly I need something to eat or I'm probably going to collapse halfway through the day so we're going to swing by and grab some bagel sandwiches. Yeah! Best part of my morning right here. <laughs> Right. Ugh. 
we made it back. We have enough rock wool to complete the job, enough foam to complete the job, and I think we have enough of the furring strips to complete the job. There's really only one thing left to do. Let's, let's get to work, complete the job, exactly. It's warm, but we're working in the back, and there's not as much sun back here for sure. Last time it took an entire day to do the front side of the house, but they're already like a quarter of the way done with this back wall, so. We got three hours and 15 minutes. Can you do it? I don't know, but we're sure gonna try. Okay. <laughs> if we can't finish this today, I'm gonna be really upset. I think we should at least have 80% of it done if we don't finish it. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. So these screws are, Trent just told me, $170 a box. They're specialty screws because we need them to go all the way in through the furring strips and the double insulation and then the uh, zip sheet thing. But we just noticed that this screw has no threads on it. So we get like a 10 cent refund, right? That one's going nowhere. <laughs> but it is nice that this big section has no windows. So you guys are pretty much just flying through it. I know it'll get a little sticky once you get to the vents, but... Nothing we can't handle. Yeah, nothing you can't handle, and it's going way fast. It is going way fast. I mean, pretty fast anyway. It's been 40 minutes. We've got that done. We have another uh, two hours and 40 minutes. We might be able to get it done. Let's do the it. easy thing is that this is all just on the ground, so it goes really fast. Once you have to start climbing a ladder to do everything like 12 times, really slows you down, but you know what slows us down even more? Screws all with this no threads. Jibber jab. Oh. <laughs> you know, board and batten for siding is actually super popular these days. Maybe we just leave this as is and like paint the insulation and just call it good. That's actually a good idea. The rock is <laughs> waterproof. The studs can all dry out. We don't have to spend the money or the time on siding. And I mean, it kind of looks cool. The only reason I would definitely not do that is because 99% of all these furring strips are completely crooked. Buscamos para los studs. That was not a stud. We are searching for the stud. <laughs> that was a wire. I don't oh, think I hope not. Don't say I that. I don't think there's a stud here. Now I'm freaked out about <laughs> hitting wires. There's only been a couple of misses like that. Oh, scary. Well, the problem is that the wires go through the studs in a lot of places. Oh my gosh. That's the biggest problem is if one of these screws ends up where there's wires going through a stud and it just, if the stars align or the what? screw and the wires align. So we should have done electrical after this, is what you're saying. Because yeah. now the walls are all tucked We should away. have done this before it snowed. Oh my goodness. But it was those darn concrete guys we had to wait on. That's why this whole project is so <laughs> yeah, behind. Yeah, blame other people, so that's right. get a furring strip. <laughs> Okay, so far, everything is nice and smooth. The windows, which we have plenty of experience doing, are almost done. Now we have to do circular holes in all of this insulation for the vents. So that is the exhaust for the water heater. This is the HRV exhaust. That's the hood range exhaust. That is the main floor bathroom exhaust. And then the up in the rafters in the eave up there oh. is the exhaust for the master bath. Just gotta cut all those out except for the Eve one. Do you like the name Eve? I do not like the name Eve. No? I like the name <laughs> Neo. No, we're not using Neo. <laughs>
Yesterday I suggested Bartholomew and Brandon said he was almost named Bartholomew. So we can't take that because obviously uh, that's, Brandon's, that's name. Brandon's name now. <laughs> I'm not really one to talk since if I had been born a boy, my parents were going to name me Basil. Like Basil. Like Basil. How's that for a name? <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Basil? Basil. Basil. <laughs> bottom row here done and it's taken us about an hour and a half which is about half the time that we had and now we got to start doing all the ladder hibbly bibbly bibbity dobbity it's not going quite as fast as i thought but i think if we kick it into high gear there's a there's a chance that we could finish before the end of the day so <laughs> we're gonna get to work Well, they're making progress. It's just a little sketchy and it stresses me out to watch Trent be that high up on the ladder. So I'm gonna take this time while I can't really be useful or helping them to do something for myself and the baby. Just take a few minutes to breathe. so much better to just move and breathe a little bit whether you're pregnant or not i have always loved yoga and you guys have seen us do a lot of yoga on this channel and even just five minutes a day doesn't matter if you don't have a long time to devote toward yourself but just taking a few minutes to be quiet and to breathe makes such a huge difference and i think i uh took long enough that hopefully by now the guys will be done with the back wall of the house <laughs> We'll see. Okay, you're done. We're done. You're done. Finished. It's over. Finito. Terminando. <laughs> you're actually almost done. A few more hours worth of work and 30 minutes to do it. That's not bad. Tomorrow for sure. Monday, yeah. Yeah, the next time we work. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more screw. Last and then one. We're calling it a day. You guys are killing it. We are killing it. We didn't get the entire back wall done, but we got, I'd say like 85 to 90% of it done. More than I expected and super easy to finish this Monday. We're gonna do a quick cleanup <sighs> and get out of the sun. <laughs> All right, well, a lot of you guys already know that this is my favorite part of the day. Oh, just kicking those boots off. It was really hot. Even though we were in the shade all day, it is like sweltering up here. My feet are sweaty. They <laughs> probably stink pretty bad. But that's neither here nor there. 
We didn't get done what I thought we were gonna get done. I, I was like positive we would be able to finish the back of the house today and we, we have a couple more hours worth of work to do back there. So come Monday, we'll be able to finish that. We'll be able to put all the corner uh, furring strips on and the house will be ready for siding. That's very exciting. And then hopefully that same day or maybe the next day, we can actually start doing drywall. And as you guys saw when we went to Home Depot today, they just got a fresh shipment. They got thousands of sheets of sheetrock. They're just ready for us to come and buy them and bring them up here and start screwing them onto the walls. I don't know if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, but I sincerely hope that you did. And if you guys enjoyed coming along, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios.